Hi everybody, Steven Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Mage Quest, where we are uh, going to attempt to try to build uh, an elven portal to Alfheim, which is uh, about as far as you can go in Batania. Uh, now, I have never done this before, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to be using the book a lot. Uh, I've never actually seen what this does. All I know is you open the portal and you can throw materials through, and uh, altered materials will come back. So, there is a lot of stuff that we need. I don't even need this quest book. Where's my... We're not going to need the quest book for this. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to need. We're going to need eight living wood blocks. We're going to need three glimmering living wood. One elven gateway core. We've, we need a couple of mana pools, but we've got that already. And then we're going to need two natura pylons. So, oh, you have to pardon me, guys. I'm stretching. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've been sitting down a long time today. Okay, so, uh, let's, uh... Okay, first let's build the Elven Gateway Core. We only need one of those. So, that looks actually pretty simple. So, we'll take one Mana Steel Ingot. And we're going to take six Living Wood. As you can see outside, I moved the, uh... I moved the runic altar down here because we're going to build the portal right about here. Pretty close to the to the mana pools. So first up we drop a mana wait. Wait, am I wait. <laughs> oh it's Terra. It's Terra, not mana. Do I still have Terra Steel? Oh good. Thank god I made a lot of Terra Steel. Okay, so we take the Terra Steel, we drop it in, and we turn it all into nugs. Take three nugs, three of those, and three of those, and we have our Elven Gateway Core. So that is part one. What's next? Natural Pylon. We need two of those. That requires three Terra Steel Ingots, a Mana Pylon, and an Eye... Oh my god, an Eye of Ender. An Eye of Ender. So we're going to need two Eyes of Ender. Let's... Let me make a Mana Pylon. Mana Diamond, two Gold, and two Mana Steel. Do I actually have... I have mana diamonds. Do I have gold? I know I have Eyes of Ender, and I know I have... Well, I'm sorry, uh, and Ender Pearls. I'm, I've got at least three or four Ender Pearls. Okay. Alright, yes, I've got five Ender Pearls, so let's grab two of those. Oh, and I have more diamonds. Okay, so I'm not too worried about the diamonds. We'll grab those in case we have to turn them. And we have gold! Okay, we're all set. Um, I'm just going to grab half a stack. We are going to have to do some mining very soon, though. And, and I have to do some organizing here as well, because this is kind of ridiculous. So we should be able to make the Eyes of Ender right here, which are made with the blaze powder. I didn't need that much blaze powder, but... Ah, what are you going to do? Two Ender Pearls... There we go. Two Eyes of Ender. So back when we go again. Because all of the rest of our materials are over here. We need a Mana Diamond, two Mana Steel Ingots, and two Gold. So we're going to need two Mana Diamonds. Let's drop these diamonds up here too. We're going to need four Gold. That's five, flag. And, uh, because we have a terrible memory, we need, uh, we're gonna need four mana steel ingots. Boy, when you have the Batania, the, the Lexica Batania in your inventory, it does that all the time, and that drives me up the fucking wall. Barry, you're killing me out there, too. Don't make me make a sound muffler. If I can. Can, can you even make a sound muffler? <laughs> No, you can't. <laughs> uh, well, maybe... Muff... <laughs> I, I can... Oh, I can, I can make ear muffs to protect me from mandrakes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually kind of funny. Okay, so I'm gonna drop two of these mana diamonds in. Uh, we're going to go two and two. And two and two. And that should give me... Our two mana pylons. Fantastic. All right, next up. Uh, go back. We got the two mana pylons, so it's... I'm gonna need two natural pylons. Okay, got it. Got it. 
drop those in there, drop the two mana pylons, and drop the two eyes of ender. And there we go, two natural pylons. Look, we're getting through this really quickly. We've actually, we've done so much in Batania that we're actually getting this stuff done. Next up, okay, that's how to build the portal. I need to know how to build glimmering living wood. Because that's about the only thing I need now. So, glimmering... There it is. It is living wood with glowstone. Really? That's it? I only need three. Let's do it. We're going to, at the very least, build the portal, guys. Uh, we're probably going to have to wait until next episode before we spark it up, though, because uh, my mana is just starting to build up. This is crazy. We're going to get everything. Unless maybe uh, getting all of this stuff together gives us, like, a whole shitload of mana, which would be... Which would be kind of uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I, I doubt that's exactly what it would happen, but um, okay, what was I doing again? Oh, three living wood, and we're going to combine the living wood with the glowstone, and there's three glimmering living woods. So we have everything we need. We have our three glimmering living wood. We have our elven gateway core. We have our two natural pylons. Uh, uh, we've got our mana pools outside. Uh, I need eight living wood... I need eight normal living wood blocks as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So eight living wood blocks. <laughs> okay, let's take a look in the quest book and see if uh, building all of this stuff actually... F yep, it did! So we got it all. Uh, now we have to go to the next detection task, which is... Crap. Elementium ingots, pixie dust, dragonstone, and elf glass. Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's build the portal, because we're going to need to use the portal to get this stuff. So, uh, at the very least, we should build the portal. The thing is, I don't know how to... A how do I activate it? I don't want to accidentally start sucking mana out when I'm not actually ready. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Gotcha. To open up the portal, simply right-click the core with the Wand of the Forest. The portal requires a substantial amount of mana deposited in both the pools to open up. After that, it'll slowly drain some to keep itself powered. If it runs out of mana, the connection will be broken. Am I going to have to lay some pools in front of it? Because I kind of don't want to do that. Uh, the amount of mana required to open the portal is orders of magnitude higher than that to keep it maintained. Thus, closing the portal to prevent mana loss is a poor strategy. strategy. Furthermore, the link itself isn't strong enough for living beings to go through. Okay. Uh, and the elves, uh, they return a good amount of knowledge. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna try to build it, I guess? Oh. Show me the portal. Show me the portal. Show me the portal! Uh, okay, we can go inside. We can actually visualize it. Alright, well, we're gonna build it right about here. Um, so that's... Alright, if I put it right about there. Alright. Yep, that works. I like this visualized thing. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with. Oh, they do. They have to be over. Oh, oh, this is kind of a crappy, shitty kind of thing, isn't it? Um. All right, I'll tell you what. We're gonna build two more mana pools for those. And then we're going to fill them up in between episodes, and then we'll spark the portal next episode. So first off, let's lay out our, I guess, the Elven Gateway Core. It's going to go right there. 
Then we're going to need the eight living wood. One, two. Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm going to need something to lay down in its place so I can lay stuff on it. So, living wood. And then it's glimmer. And then it's another living wood. <laughs> How am I supposed to get up there? Um, okay, let's throw the stone back down again so I can get stuff on this side. And it looks like I'm going to have to ride this stuff up to get the stuff on top. And, boom. And then it's one of these. Boom. And then this one. And shit, I fucked up. Uh, okay, we can do this. And then I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna break you with my hand. Because the axe will take everything down. I need, a, I need to carry a regular axe around with myself. And then we'll go here. We can do this one there. And then we'll put you right there. And that's it, the portal is built. That is the portal to elf time. Now, let's go make ourselves a couple more mana pools. Do I have any made, actually? No, I don't. Um, okay, well, that's that's easy. Mana pools are simple. Mana pools are very simple. You just go like so, and like so. And there we go. There's our two mana pools. Now, let's... Lay these mana pools out. There's going to be one there. And one there. And then we're going to need to put our natural pylons on top of those. Uh, like... Like so. And like so. Structure complete! Now all we got to do is we have to actually... Let me see, what if I... Could I move the sparks, maybe? Uh, well, I need to... I need to start getting... Mana... Over there. Hmm... Do I want to build a new... Let's fucking build another spreader. Let's build another spreader. They're not too hard. Let's see if I can remember how to build the spreader, guys. Uh... It would be and then a piece of mana steel, I think. Let's see if I remember this. This is this will actually be a uh, an interesting test to see if I can remember how to do this. And then like a mana steel, or is it this way, or like this, or like that? Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. You think I had another spreader ready anyway? Uh, let's mana spreader. Oh, it's gold and a feather. Or a feather. A uh, 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 not a feather. A petal. Gold and a petal. Gold and a petal. We gotta grab a petal first. Uh, let's grab something we have a lot of. Back inside. And we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, it's gold and a petal. And there is another mana spreader. So we're going to be able to go outside here. We're going to find a way to get some mana to these pools. Huh. Okay, I'm going to try to figure this out off camera, guys, and uh, when you come back, I'm going to uh, make sure we have enough mana in these pools so that we can open up this portal to Alf time, and, uh, comp oh, you know what, let's actually, we got to look in the book. We completed the structure, that, did that do anything for us? No, we need to actually get the stuff first. So we'll complete off that quest next time too, guys. So, uh, wow, uh, look what we just did. Isn't that freaking cool? Anyhow, guys, thanks a lot for stopping in, and uh, I'll see you next time when we create an elven portal.
Holy shit. Check you later.